Hello everyone. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a graphical user interface using MATLAB. I'll be using our 2013A version of the software. We'll be using guide for creating these graphical user interfaces. Guide is graphical user interface development environment. So let's begin creating a graphical user interface. First you'll have to click on new, then select graphical user interface. The guide quick start wizard will open in front of you. You'll have, I'll be selecting blank GUI for this tutorial. Now there's a palette on the left hand side of the window. This palette contains different icons for example this one is for a push button the next one is like this is for a radio button there's check boxes sliders and various other stuff so if you want to create a push button just click on the push button icon and then drag to create a push button you can resize the push button move it around in the space that is the grid that you can see the grid size will be the graphical user interface size when you will run the dot figure file now you can duplicate this in this tutorial I'll be creating a very simple GUI which will contain two, two push buttons I invoke this inspector window by double clicking on the push button we will change the string from push button to red LED now similarly for the other button I will change it to green LED for, for those of you who know launchpad there are two LEDs available on the board, one is red and the other one is green. So in the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to turn that LED on and off by clicking on this button. So I'll name this one as green LED. Now you can resize the GUI size just by dragging the corner of the grid now there's one more thing that you need to change and th that is the tag this tag will be used while naming the callback function for the push button so I'll change this to red and uh, the other one to green tag this will help you identify the callback function I'll talk about the callback function when the .m file is created so I'll name this underscore green also you can change the string color so just click on the foreground color and for green maybe we can select green so as you can see the color of the text is green now Similarly, I'll change the text color for red to red so that it makes sense. Now, that's it. For this GUI, I'll be limiting it to this, these two push buttons only. Then you can save the file as maybe I'll save it as tutorial one. Now I had already saved a tutorial one, I'll replace it. So now MATLAB will generate a .m file automatically for you. This .m file will contain various functions. Let us go through these functions one by one. The first one is the opening function and the commands that are written in this opening function are executed once whenever your graphical user interface is opened so if 
if you want to create any object that will be used throughout the graphical user interface or any other command that you want to write you can write it in this opening function inside this opening function rather and then there are the other callback functions as you can see I told you to change the tag from push button 1 to push button underscore red this will help you identify which push button or object you are calling so push button underscore red will help you identify that this callback function is for the red LED push button that you had created in the graphical user interface so in this function whatever command you write will be executed whenever you will push the button on the graphical user interface so whatever object you make on the graphical user interface will have a callback function and this callback function will be called whenever that corresponding object is pressed or user input is given on that so this is the .m file and then I'll show you the both the files in the current folder window as you can see there is the .fig file and there is the .m file so .fig file contains data about the graphical user interface and .m file will contain the commands that is it will control the behavior of the graphical user interface it will decide what will the graphical user interface do when a user gives an input so if you want to make any changes in the uh, design that you had made you can just click right click on uh, tutorial or whatever file name you have given .fig file and then click on open and write it will open this uh, this wizard again and then you can make the necessary changes and save the file once again so whenever you will open it again the graphical user interface will ha have the same properties so if you want to see what the final product will look like just click on the run figure button so this is how your graphical user interface will look like when it is finished so you can press these buttons right now I have written no commands for these buttons I will be covering that in the next blog entry thank you for watching this video hope it was informative